Like all of us, the best day of my life was when I finally got to meet the reigning world champion of Corridor. Microjig, maker of the Gripper. Work safer, work smarter. I'm putting two blades together in my table saw to cut out the grooves. And I'm gonna drop them down to about half the thickness of this plywood. I'll move my rip fence one inch away. Before I move the fence over, I'll cut a groove in the other direction. Here I made a mark an inch over from that notch. And I'm gonna slide this over for my next cut. Now I'm gonna set up a registration system so that I don't have to keep measuring for each cut. I cut out a thin hardwood strip that's the same size as the slots. I'm sliding that second slot that I cut over the blades. I can pull my fence back over to where it touches, make sure it's square. I'm hot gluing that strip into place. Now it's just a matter of dropping each slot down onto that key and making as many cuts as I want. Now I can cut this down to a nine by nine grid. I'm using my miter sled to cut out the frame. To help me get tight fitting miters using my miter sled, I always mark the left and the right miter. That way they fit together perfectly. I glued together a couple of walnut boards and I'm gonna see if I can turn the game pieces. Well, there's a handy wood turning tip. When your piece breaks off of the lathe, you're probably done. I am really not that good at a lathe. It took me a long time to turn all of these and they're all different, which makes it a little bit easier. Can't imagine what it would be like to say, turn 16 identical pawns for a chess set. I'll round over the sharp edges of the game board on my router. I'm cutting out these thin strips for the walls. And finally I'll, well, you know. Two to four people can play Corridor. The object of the game is to get your piece from your side of the board to the opposite side of the board. Each player starts the game with their piece on the center square. You can move your pieces forward, sideways, or backwards, just not diagonally. When it's your turn, you have the option of either moving your piece or placing a wall. You can't jump over the wall, so you're forced to go around it and it becomes sort of a maze. The only thing that's not allowed is you can't completely block off a path to the other side. If this is your first time here, I'd like to take just a moment to welcome you to Woodworking for Mere Mortals. I post fun woodworking projects every Friday on this channel and I'd love to have you subscribe so you don't miss a thing. If you'd like to make your own corridor game, check down in the description for a free set of plans. And again, I hope you will all join in on the fun over at formiremortals.net and post some of your own projects. And you can see all of my videos and all of my plans are all in one place over there. And you can sign up for the Mimo newsletter too so you can stay informed on all things Mere Mortals. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you next week.